JobTrend web forms can be used to capture lead and vendor information directly on your website, and then it gets added as a customer or vendor account in JobTrend. So while you're in your JobTrend settings, you can click on the web forms tab, and then you can create a new customer form or a new vendor form. And you can create as many of those as you need. So let's create a new customer form, and we will call this um, new lead intake. Great. And then as you can see, we have some basic questions already included in here that will populate the account information once they fill it out. And you'll notice that we have a preview of the form on the right. Any question that you add to this section can be marked as required or optional. It can be reordered in the actual form. And then you can also remove the field as well. Now, additional available fields are also listed here, and these are based on all of your custom fields that you've added for your customer account or your contact, and you can choose to then include those on the form. So those custom fields will be automatically completed once somebody submits your form. And so in this case, I might want to choose to add the lead source question. So if I add that field, you'll notice it includes my custom field uh, responses here. And then I might want to rename this because as my leads filling out this form, they may not understand fully what lead source means. So instead, I might change that to where did you hear about us? Great. I can also add a description if I'd like to and then mark this as required. Once my, or my lead fills out that question, then the answer that they chose will be added to the custom field called lead source in my job tread account. Additionally, you are able to collect files, photos, and videos from your leads as well. So I might say um, uh, videos and photos of the current space. Great, I could even just say please upload. And that way, it's directing them to include files and photo videos of their space. Now, this might be better suited in the description field, so then I might just say, um, I might just call this files. And now I can have a description for my, my lead. All right, if we feel good about that, we can continue on and we can add assignees. This is saying who will get notified when this form is filled out. So in this case, I might want Travis to receive an email once the form is completed. And maybe I also want Stephanie to know about it as well so they can take their sales follow-up steps beyond that. The success message is basically going to be displayed in a pop-up as soon as the form is submitted. So we might say thank you for oops, reaching out. We will respond shortly. And then also you can put a success URL if you would like to redirect the lead to a specific web page after they submit the form. This is really helpful if you have a web page that has maybe more information about your company or maybe it's a sales page um, or maybe it goes through the next steps that they can expect. So that could be very helpful. Once we create this form, then you'll have the ability to copy the hosted link. In this case, that means that the form will be on a dedicated page that, um, that will just display the form. It won't be in your website, it's just a simple link. And you can put that link directly on your social media accounts. You can create QR codes with that link, maybe put them on your business cards, um, however you wanna use that link. But that gives you the option to use this form without embedding it into your website. If you copy the embed code, that is going to be the coding that needs to be added to the back end side of your website if you would like to do that. Now, once you're doing the, the embed code in your website, it will take on the properties of your CSS for your website, and you do have the ability to edit you know, the fonts and the colors at that point. But again, you kind of have to know some HTML coding to, to fully understand how to do that. And so either case works just fine. You can either just link to the form or you can embed it directly into your website. Once this form is filled out, then it creates a new lead in JobTread, or if you do the vendor form, it will create a new vendor in JobTread, and then you can follow up as needed.